So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. 65. Oh, okay. Well, let's start with one and see how it goes. Well, yeah, no, this movie's called 65. That's four away from the funny number, so why is this called 65? Uh, well, I was thinking we have Adam Driver crash land on a planet and fight some monsters, and then at the end of the movie you find out that this is Earth 65 million years ago and the monsters are dinosaurs. Oh, that is good. Right? That is very good. I'm gonna put that in the trailers. What? And on the poster, and in every Every piece of marketing we make. Why would you do that? Well, what are we hoping people are just gonna show up to see Adam Driver on some space adventure? No, we gotta spell this out for people. Star Wars. Anyway, so what happens in this thing? Well, okay, so a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, there's this alien named Mills. An alien, huh? What's his deal? He's an alien, which means he's just straight up a human in every way. Sick! Yeah, and so another thing that's sick is his daughter, so he's gotta go on this two-year expedition to be able to pay for her medical treatment. Oh, uh, distant planets with American healthcare systems are tight! So then while he's on that trip, he gets hit with some asteroids and crash lands on Earth. His species figured out space travel, but no protection for their Ships. That's what we're going with. So now Mills is on Earth, but everybody he had on board in cryosleep has died. Very sad, probably. And so he gets off the ship into like knee deep water, and there's this giant creature swimming around him that's like diving in said water somehow. Oh boy, I bet that creature's gonna come into play later. Nope, and then Mills is gonna use his space tech to see that there's an escape shuttle 15 kilometers away. These aliens use the metric system, but that was introduced on Earth in like the 1700s. Hey, shut up, nerd. And then he's also gonna find out that someone else survived the crash. Crash, actually, this little girl named Koa. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so now this stoic action hero has to protect and escort this little girl. Have you ever seen that before? Have I? Yes. Yes, so many times. Right, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, we are switching it up a bit. This time they don't speak the same language, so there's a there's a language barrier. Logan, f Hey, look, if it ain't broke, do it over and over again with every single action star at least once in their career. Okay, great. So anyway, we're gonna find out that Mills' daughter actually died while he was away. Ah! Dang it! Yeah, and so throughout the movie, he's gonna kinda, you know, bond with this new little girl that he has to protect. How they bonded? Well, since they don't speak the same language, just a whole lot of Mills yelling, and then the little girl repeating, like, a word or two. Very touching. We're also gonna have, like, two scenes where they are slightly silly together. I now care about these characters. Great, and so then for the duration of the movie, they have to walk 15 kilometers, and occasionally CGI dinosaurs pop out. Uh-oh! Yeah, so Mills has to shoot them with his little sci-fi gun and fire shots off into the air when they're they're already running away. What? And then at a certain point, they're gonna encounter a T-Rex. That's the one from every dinosaur movie. It sure is, and they're gonna hide from it inside a cave, and they're gonna start trying to blast a hole out towards another exit, but it keeps going horribly, so they're just, they're devastated. Why not just wait till the T-Rex leaves and then step out through that same cave entrance? Well, see what's going on here, sirs. I've gotta manufacture some tension somehow. Oh, okay, gotcha. They're also gonna save a little baby dinosaur that was trapped. Aww. And then it immediately gets torn to shreds. Oh my god. And at a certain point, it's gonna be nighttime, so Mills has to set up a little security system so they can go to bed. Yeah, I mean, I guess you need some kind of security system to sleep safely, so what's this system? It's this system made of bright lights that makes loud beeping noises. Feels like that would attract dinosaurs. And so that attracts dinosaurs! Right, so then they gotta fight some more dinosaurs, run away from some more dinosaurs. Are we just doing variations of that? Yep, mostly variations of that, sir, but then suddenly we're gonna up the stakes. How so? Well, see, they're gonna realize that there's this massive asteroid on the way, and the audience is gonna understand that this is the one that killed the dinosaurs. These characters crash landed at the exact impact spot of the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs right before it hits. That's what we're going with, sir, and this thing's hitting in 12 hours, so they gotta rush up this mountain to the escape vessel. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. But then when they get there, Ko is gonna realize that her family's all dead and Mills kinda misled her into thinking they were alive. Oh. So she's obviously super upset and very sad and Mills is gonna give her a big speech about how he lost his daughter and now he cares about her, so he's gotta bring her home. Wow. But she can't understand a word he's saying, right? Yeah, no, not at all. So then some more T-Rexes pop out and they gotta run away, they gotta try to get away in their vessel, but these T-Rexes wanna kill them specifically because they're the main characters. Uh-oh. So Mills frickin' lures one of these T-Rexes to this big hot boiling geyser thing, but this T-Rex is unfazed. Well, it's gonna be hard to kill this thing if a boiling hot geyser doesn't affect it. Actually, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, they lure it towards a boiling hot geyser, so it burns to death. But it's a boiling hot geyser, sir. It's deadly. Okay. And so, yeah, then they escape and we're done. So what do you think? I mean, dinosaurs and sci-fi, it sounds like this thing's gonna be the bomb. Nice. Wait, like in a good way, right? I don't know, I'm just saying it like that. So either way, I'm right.
Hi everybody, Ryan George here. Thank you for watching that pitch meeting. I haven't planned anything to say here, so I'm just gonna say some words that come to mind. Pumpkin. Apple. 